I never had any health issues, never went to the hospital except to have our three children and was actually kind of shocked and in sort of disbelief when I got my diagnosis. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, large B-cell. Our oncologist uh, educated us about what it was and said, you know what, you're going to go through chemo and you're going to get through this. And I said, okay, that's what I'm going to do. For a couple of years was cancer free, but then I relapsed and uh, that's when they said, well, okay, then the next step for you would be a stem cell transplant of my own stem cells. Unfortunately, that didn't work. And then I got a little panicky about what was gonna be my next step, because there aren't a lot of options after that. The nurse clinicians or the people who keep tabs of clinical trials said, you need to look at something called CAR-T. CAR-T is where they take your T cells out of your body, then they send them to a lab where they beef them up. They, they become your warriors, your, your T warriors, and then they reinsert them into your body and they go right after the cancer. It is a clinical trial and it doesn't work for everyone. There are no guarantees, but when your options are limited, uh, it seemed like the best course for me. And thankfully, was blessed to be able to do it at the Cleveland Clinic which is reasonably close to home for me. One of the researchers said to me, Mary Beth, you have to not think of yourself as a patient. You need to think of yourself as a pioneer. And that really had an impact on me in terms of, okay, so this is scary, and there's no guarantee that it's gonna work, um, but it might work, and it might assuredly work in the future for somebody else. Without a clinical trial, nothing gets approved. And so you need to have people willing to step up and take the gamble. You can feel their empathy. You know that they're on this journey with you and, and they want you to succeed. I've had three PET scans already since my treatment and they've all shown I was cancer free. As long as you can find somebody who knows something about this and can lead you in a path that may be in your best health interest, then you need to push forward. You need to keep moving in. We would always say, as long as we keep moving in a forward direction, we're gonna tackle this.